Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. And I want to talk about the economy. This is something that's about to change dramatically. And I want you to be prepared with my astrological predictions here. The major component that predicts change in the economy has to do with Jupiter and Saturn. Their cycle is imperative in terms of the economic ups and downs in our world and in our society. They're actually called the social planets. And as they aspect one another in their cycle, and as Rahu and Ketu forms aspects within the cycle, this is when we have the major changes in our world and this has to do with the economy. Because what people don't understand is the economy is actually dictated by the mass emotional level of the people. So the aspect that's just about to change the summer is that Jupiter is about to shift signs. It's going to move into Leo. And as Jupiter moves into Leo, it's going to move out of uh, the aspect that it's been casting to Saturn. So you see Jupiter casting a trine to Saturn has made the economy work really well. And if you'll look this whole past year or year, year from now, the economy was doing just fine. There, as a matter of fact, the stock market was at an all time high. It was doing exceptionally well. But as soon as Jupiter shifts into Leo, this is sidereal. It's going to move to the position where it is no longer casting a trine to Saturn and Saturn begins to aspect Jupiter by a square. And as Saturn's aspecting Jupiter, this is the planet that deals with prosperity and wealth. You're going to see a big shift and Jupiter will shift signs approximately around July 13th and it will continue to stay in the sign of Leo till August 11th of 2016. And as Jupiter comes closer in orb to being exactly squared by Saturn, which will be in November, you're going to see the stock market shift gears and major events are about to transpire. So it's going to shift in a downward spiral. What happens? People become extraordinarily fearful. They think they've lost all their money and their income. But remember this, it is a great time to invest because I don't see the stock market staying down for that long. It can never stay down that long anymore. There's too many billionaires manipulating the market. So it's all a mass manipulation where there's control and power of those with the money and they control and set in fear into everyone else. So remember, watch this market and watch how it goes down. This is your opportunity to invest. When major companies that, that are primarily doing very well go down, it's time to buy, okay? Then I'm looking at the fact that oil prices, oil prices have gone way, way down. This is great for the airline industry or transportation industry that's dependent on fuel, but it is a fact that oil prices are going to go up again. And this should be music to your ears, not when you go pump gas at the, you know, with your car, but it will be great if you've invested in fuel prices. I mean, oil, oil and gas, because let me tell you uh, what's going to be happening with this. First of all, Saturn, when it moved into Scorpio last November, the oil prices made a nosedive because Saturn rules crude oil. It rules land and what's underneath it. So after Saturn moved into Scorpio, we're going to have Mars in 2016 between around February of 2016 through July of 2016, Mars is going to be in the same sign with Saturn. And this is terrible for issues around war or, you know, fighting and things around the world that deal with calamity and anger and war because they're going to be in Scorpio where the fixed star Antares, star of war is. So during this time, 
Mars and Saturn comes together, they will stay together for that duration because Mars is going to go retrograde, intensifying this enormously. So the planet that rules gas and oil, crude oil, is going to be triggered by Mars. Additionally, they're going to be squaring Neptune, another indicator of oil. So Neptune's in Aquarius, they're in Scorpio, and there's this deadlock of these planets. And I found any time you have Mars aspecting Neptune, the oil prices go way up. And this sets in mass calamity and fear. But guess what? The rich people get richer. They will go in and buy all the real estate because another issue that's going to happen, yes, the real estate market has been doing fantastic lately. The prices are sky high for properties. Here in Dallas, it's record. We never had this, this high prices for property. Here's the deal. The government's going to come in and they're going to raise interest rates. So what happens is the stock market crashes, interest rates go up, everybody goes into panic, and you're gonna see a lot of properties for sale again, just like in 2008, but the rich get richer. They go in and they can buy it all up. So put some money aside. Put some money aside because if you're able to buy property, the prices are gonna go down. And this is another time of opportunity. I'm telling you all this because it's opportune time. So here's, here's the deal. The fall the stock market's gonna go down and come into the new year. Another big astrological event is Rahu is going to come into it's going to shift signs where Rahu goes into Leo and K2 goes into Aquarius. Think about this one. Every single time the, the stock market has crashed, which major times would have been 1929, 1987, and 2008. All of those three times, Jupiter and Rahu were one sign apart. When Jupiter goes into Leo, it's going to be one sign apart from Rahu. Rahu is still in Virgo, Jupiter's in Leo. But in January of 2016, they come together in the same sign of Leo. They will, they will ride together from January of 2016 through August of 2016. This will be some major shifts in the stock market, in housing markets. Oil and gas will be an all-time high price and one more thing the dollar always goes up high whenever we have war prospects of war fuel prices go up and another thing 2016 is a, an election year and if you remember in 2008 election year that summer gas prices went to an all-time high so my point is invest in some very powerful, strong oil and gas companies, not any of the small guys, because as the prices have been dropping in, in oil and gas, a lot of the companies can't pay their bills and the big boys have just come in and bought them all up. That's what's happening right now. So these stocks of these companies, of the big boys, are going to do really, really well. So remember this, it's a time to wait for the, for the real estate market, for, for their prices to come down, and it's a time to buy. Remember that oil and gas is going to go up, time to buy these stocks. And another thing is, because Jupiter is going to be together with Rahu in Leo, I suspect gold prices are going to go up. Plus the dollar is going to go up because it is always the case when we have war and calamity. And these are all great opportunities for everyone to take advantage of. This is why you want to know astrology and know the future. If you are able to take advantage of these opportunities, this will help you and eliminate fear in your life that the economy is about to go through a major shift. So with that, I'd like to close. And if you need more information, you can go to my website which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.